Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, may Allah assist him, is the fifth successor of the promised Messiah والسلام, the current head of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community and in this day and age the defender of Islam and the custodian of peace. Throughout the last year, he has relentlessly championed the cause of Islam by spreading its true teachings and reminding Ahmadi Muslims around the world of their roles and responsibilities. When attempts are made to tarnish the honour of Islam, the Islamic world unfortunately vents their anger through violent protests. Yet Hazrat Khalifatul Masih responds with rational discourse. Today, some of the Islam Mukhalif Isai Padri who are not Islam for the Islam of the Quran are not talking about it. The last few days, the Quran of 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 the आगे चलें जाएं इनकी तारीख में आज से 20 साल या 25 साल पहले सलमान रशदी ने अपने मकरू किताब लिखी थी उस वक्त हौसले वो तो मसीह राबे ने उसका जवाब दिया खुद भी खुद में और फिर किताबी शक्ल में जवाब लिखवाया भी गया अंग्रेजी में छपा जिसका उर्दू तजमा भी छप चुका है उसका नाम सलमान रशदी भूतों के असेब में है उर्दू तजमा इसका 2005 में जब डेनमार्क में आहद रसूल अल्लाह सल्लम के मुतालिक बेहुदा तस्वीर बनाई गईं तो डेनमार्क मिशन ने भी और मैंने भी खुद बात करी इसका जवाब दिया कानून के अंदर रहते हुए कार्रवाइयां भी कीं कुराने क्रीम पर हमला हुआ इस्लाम पर हमला हुआ तो हॉलैंड के मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट की तरफ से जब हुआ तो उनके जवाबात दिए गए तो उठो और मुसलसल कोशिश الزامات کے رات کو رات کرنے کے لیے کرتے چلے جاؤ اور اپنے عملوں کو حقیقی مسلمان کا عمل بناو نہ کہ صرف میموریل بھیج کر یا جلوس نکال کر یا چند دن شور مچا کر پھر بیٹھ جاؤ ایک جری اللہ نے لہرایا احمدیت is the revival of Islam as prophesized by the holy prophet Muhammad Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Allah the Almighty informed the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, that I shall cause thy message to reach the corners of the earth. مددگار اور معاون بن رہے ہیں اس سچائی کے پیغام کو پھیلانے کے لیے دنیا میں آج کل بہت سارے چینل چل رہے ہیں اسلام کے پیغام کے نام پہ بھی چل رہے ہیں لیکن ان میں سچائی نہیں اور سچائی پیدا ہو نہیں سکتی جب تک حضرت مسیح مہود علیہ السلام کے ساتھ جڑ کر اس پیغام کو جو حقیقی اسلام کا پیغام ہے دنیا میں نہ پھیلانے this truth is that the true message of Islam is one of peace and tolerance, as explained by Hazur Anwar at the Peace Conference on the 26th of March 2011. Commenting upon recent developments and unrest in North Africa and the Middle East, Hazur said that the fundamental basis for peace was truth and justice, and failure to heed this will lead to dissent. We hold a passionate desire to establish peace and to end cruelty in light of the true Islamic teachings. The Ahmadiyya community claims, and indeed those who are closely associated with us are witness to this, that not only do we raise a slogan for peace, but in fact, we make practical efforts to establish tolerance, peace, and patience. In short, the disorder taking place these days in the world, whether on a national 
or international scale is based upon just one factor and that is a complete lack of justice which is causing anxiety and restlessness to develop. The question arises that how can the present situation in the world be resolved? I have given the answer to this earlier when quoting the writing of the founder of the Amdiya community in which he advised us to establish a relationship with God and exhibit the truth. The absence of peace in the world was brutally brought again to the world's attention in the horrific attacks in Lahore of last May. Referring to these tragic events, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V consoled the youngsters of the community, reminding them that hardships and sacrifices were incumbent on God's true followers. <laughs> لیکن شہیدوں کی شہادت اور قربانی کرنے والوں کی قربانیوں کو یاد رکھنا ہمارے لیے ضروری ہے اس لیے کہ جس اعلیٰ مقصد کے لیے انہوں نے یہ قربانیاں دی ہیں اس اعلیٰ مقصد کو ہم نے بھی قائم رکھنا ہے آگے بڑھنے والی قوموں کی علامت یہ ہے قربانی کرنے والوں کو بھولا نہیں کرتی اور ان کو یاد رکھتی ہیں اور ان سے سبق لیتی ہیں اور اپنے ایمانوں کو مضبوط کرتی ہیں ہمارے نوجوانوں کو بھی اس بات کو سامنے رکھنا چاہیے اور ہمارے بچوں کو بھی ہمیشہ اس بات کے سامنے رکھنا چاہیے کہ ہم نے کسی بھی دشمن کے حرکت سے حملے سے خوف ستا نہیں ہوں اور ان شاء اللہ تعالیٰ جو ذمہ واریاں ہمارے سپورٹ ہیں ان کو ادا کرتے چلے جانا ہے اپنے عہدوں کو پورا کرتے چلے جانا ہے ان مے لاسٹ ایئر ایٹی سکس احمدی مسلمز ور مارٹڈ وائلس آفرنگ دیئر فرائیڈے پریئر وی بورڈ دس ٹریجڈی وتھ پیشنس ان انڈونیشیا اور احمدیز ور ریسنٹلی مارٹڈ ان موسٹ بربیرک اینڈ کروئل مینر وی ڈیڈ ناٹ رسپونڈ وائلنٹلی نور ڈیڈ وی کنڈکٹ اینی کوورٹ اٹیکس بس چاہے وہ پاکستان کے ظالم ہیں یا بھارت کے ظالم ہیں یا انڈونیشیا کے ظالم ہیں یا کسی بھی اور ملک کے ظالم ہیں اللہ تعالیٰ کی پکڑ سے نہیں بچ سکتے لیکن ہمیں افسوس اس بات پر ہے کہ یہ ظلم فی زمانہ سب سے زیادہ مسلمان خدا اور رسول کے نام پر کر رہے ہیں اور اسلام کے نام کو بدنام کر رہے ہیں اللہ تعالیٰ ان کو عقل دے جہاں تک احمدیوں کا سوال ہے دنیا میں ہر جگہ ہر وہ احمدی جو ایمان کی دولت سے مالا مال ہے چاہے وہ پیدائشی احمدی ہے یا نوائن میں سے ہے دشمن کی ہر قسم کی زیادتیوں اور ظلموں کو خدا تعالیٰ کی خاطر برداشت کرنے کو این سادہ سمجھتا ہے اس یقین پر قائم ہے کہ جب خدا تعالیٰ تمام طاقتوں کا مالک ہے قادر و توانا ہے تمام دنیا اس کی ملکیت ہے تو یہ عارضی حکومت والے اور عارضی طور پر کسی جگہ کے قابض ہمارا کیا بگاڑ سکتے ہیں خدا تعالیٰ نے جس طرح پہلے ہم بیا کو تسلی دلائی تھی اسی طرح حضرت وسیم عدر اصلاۃ وسلام کو بھی تسلی دلائی ہے جماعت کی مخالفت کے حالات بنگلہ دیش میں بہت ساری دنیا کے بعض ممالک سے بہت کم ہیں اور بہتر حالات ہیں جماعت کے اس لیے اپنے تبلیغ کے نظام کو مربوط کرنے کی کوشش ہے دعوت اللہ کے نظام کو مزید فعال بنانے کی کوشش ہے تاکہ یہی مخالفین جو آج اکثریت میں نظر آ رہے ہیں یہ اقلیت میں بدل جائیں اعلیٰ اخلاق دکھاتے ہوئے محبت اور پیار بھائی چارے کی فضا بھی پیدا کریں اور نہ صرف یہاں جمع ہونے کے دوران بلکہ جب اپنے اپنے گھروں میں جائیں تو وہاں جا کر بھی اس پیار اور محبت کی خدا کو ہمیشہ قائم رکھیں اللہ تعالیٰ آپ سب کو اس کی توفیق عطا فرمائے خدا کرے یو ہیو دا لارجسٹ اسٹوڈنٹ پاپولیشن 
in Freetown and in Bo. And you've done a lot of things in terms of education, welfare, health, you name it. And we are very proud of the movement. And I remember those days in my home state in Kano, the best eye clinic then was the Ahmadiyya Clinic. So, and that has still remained so. So people usually associate Ahmadiyya movement with something that is good. So I wish to seize this opportunity to request Ahmadiyya movement to reconsider Nigeria and also give it all the support that it could provide. Ahmadiyyas are their best in Ghana. They are all over the country. One of the best religious establishments you can think of. Whether in the area of health, in the area of education, anywhere, any endeavor in Ghana, the Ahmadiyyas are there. All I can say is thank you for your efforts in Ghana. In a lot of way, the Ahmadiyya Muslim has contribute, contributed to the development of Liberia. Um, we have one of the best clinics in Liberia that uh, is being run by the Ahmadiyya Muslim. We have um, a high school in Monrovia that is being run by the Ahmadiyya uh, Mission. We also have um, a vast mosque on Benson Street, Benson and Lane Street in Monrovia that is being owned by the Ahmadiyya Mission. We are very grateful for all that the Ahmadiyya uh, Muslim has done for Liberia. The biggest reason why I am attending this function is due to the great love I hold in my heart for the people of Africa. These sentiments exist because I lived in the African country of Ghana for a period of more than eight years. And as a result, have developed an affiliation to all Africans. Ahmadiyya has ex existed in Africa for over 90 years. Our mission houses are established in almost all countries. The schools of the Ahmadiyya community are operating in many parts of West Africa. And numerous clinics and hospitals belonging to the Jamaat are, engage, are engaging, engaging in serving the poor uh, people there. Mutual love, brotherhood, understanding, and recognizing each other's rights are a surety for peace. I thank you all, those, all the distinguished guests and all other guests. And also, I thank the Pan-African Organization for inviting me on this occasion. Long live Africa. I remember about seven years ago, I expressed my concern about the shortage of potable water in African countries and ask you to make this a project to implement. And I am pleased to see that you followed up on my request and put in much effort to see this through. Remember that this work must not be done only for your own reward and for own sake, but rather for the betterment of the nation, Jamaat, and humanity as a whole. It was Hazrat Masih Modul Islam's desire that every Ahmadi must serve humanity to the best of his abilities, and that should be your aim too. In a world on the brink of social and economic downfall, 
One man continues to nurture the bond between man and his Creator. Wherever in the world Ahmadis reside, no matter which country they originate from, be they Asian or African or Arab or European or American, their behavior is always the same. And this is the conduct that one day will not only save the world from anarchy, in fact, it will be the guarantor for world peace. One man protects the name of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and one blessed man leads God Almighty's chosen community through felicity and trial. Your Holiness, ladies and gentlemen, Salam Alaikum. Can I pay tribute to the Ahmadi community for the way it has shown great leadership uh, across the world in championing the cause of peace through peace symposiums and the teachings of your community? Existing UN mechanisms need reform in the direction of more robust ways of pursuing the more egregious violations of human rights that are uncovered by the UN's Universal Periodic Review. And what I'm absolutely certain of is that the Ahmadiyya Muslim community could play a key role in that process and in discussing the ways in which the UN could move forward. Your Holiness Hazur, my lords, ladies, member of parliament, ministers, my friends, brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum. I commend the work of Ahmadiyya Muslim Association UK and commitment to working with the people of all faith and no faith, promoting tolerance, respect, and support for the charity's cause. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community has taken a step ahead and being a role model in the civic participation in our society. And your Jamaat is not asking for funding, you are equally reciprocating to the local society. Thank you very much for inviting me, sir. Good evening and assalamu alaikum. Your Holiness, Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure once again to uh, be present at one of your peace symposiums. The fact that Britain has diversified so much in the last decades, that people have come here of different faiths from every corner of the planet, and the fact that we all live together and strive together in to, to achieve good works, does provide us with a most remarkable opportunity to spread the distinctive brand of tolerance that brings us together and emphasize it on a worldwide basis. These challenges are actually good for us. The challenge of difference is good for us. It is our ability to overcome that and to do it peacefully and with love, which is the foundation of our humanity. Thank you very much for inviting me this evening. On the 7th of July, 2011, his Royal Highness Prince Edward met Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V at the Fazl Mosque in London, where he was able to view the award-winning gardens and was given an introduction to Islam. This prestigious event was also attended by a number of local dignitaries. Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad Khalifatul Masih is a dynamic leader with global vision. He is the champion of peace and virtue. He is the defender of Islam. Sayyadi 